Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to March Malt Madness. If you're not aware of what March Malt Madness is, where have you been? I'm ready to tackle Heat 2. I have already done Batch 1 or Heat 1. I will pop a link if you've not quite managed to catch up with that. Just in a nutshell, guys, March Malt Madness is... I've got 30 fantastic whiskies on the top shelf. My beautiful wife, Marie, is going to narrow that down to the Sweet 16. She's going to feed me those Sweet 16, four by four, so four at a time. This is the second lot of four. Big, big thanks to Marie. What a fantastic set of four you did last time. Hopefully these four are just as good. They're all top-notch quality whiskies, folks, so every one of them is going to be a banger. There's no easy-peasy whiskies in here. I'm going to try and narrow it down. I'm going to nose them, taste them. The plan is, guys, to pick two winners and eliminate two. So two will move over forward to the next round. Wow, what a tough, tough choice. So that is March Malt Madness in a nutshell. Hopefully by the time we get to the end of March, we'll narrow these sweet 16 or these 30 down to one winner. Yes. Guys, there's so many different types of whiskey up here. I've the, 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 the thing in common, they're all single malt whiskies. But I've got peated whiskey, I've got heavily peated whiskey, I've got heavily sherried whiskies, I've got cast strength whiskies. Every one of them. My wife is not into whiskey, so she's just going to pick four so I could get a whole mix. I could get sherry and bourbon and peaty. I could get all peaty, I could get all sherried. She's done a good choice last time, so let's see how we go this time. So within a nutshell, guys. Let's dive into this one. I'm going to nose the first one. So I'm going to go green. Let's dive into this. Wow. Okay. So here we go. We've got a big, big sherry one here now. Sherry forward. Sherry up front. Can't see what colour it is with these coloured glasses. It's fruity. It's tannic. It's dark fruit. It's dried fruit. Plum, raisin. But it has a nice elegance. Bit of orchard fruit, maybe some peach, apricot, pear even. A little bit of tropical fruit, some pineapple. Maybe some banana. A little bit of lovely note of orange, citrus, lovely orangey note there. And it's spicy. So it's got a nice baking, when I say spicy, it's not overwhelmingly spicy. There's a nice, real, nice spicy note going on. It could be baking spicy, so I'm thinking maybe some cinnamon, some clove. A little bit of oak, a little bit of spice note going on. But some vanilla, wow. Toffee, fudge. Some dark chocolate and some coffee. Wow. What a wonderful, wonderful start. What can that be? I'm going to pop up and tell you what it is, but I've not got a clue. Let's do the second one. Okay. Wow. Just picked the sherry again. I've got a feeling on that quick nose, guys. I've got a feeling I should know this one, but I'm not going to commit because I, I know what blinds can do. Wow, well, was a wee bit of nip from that one. So this is a wee bit more higher ABV on this. And it's sherry, but it's a different, it's a clean, bright, fresh, real, real sweet, tropical sherry note going on here. Even bordering on, it's got that sweet shop note. If you walk into a sweet shop, you've got that smell of confectionery. But there's a lovely spice as well. It's nutty. Walnuts maybe. Dark fruit, dried fruit. Those raisins, big big raisin note. Raisin, sultana. I think they've, they've dried fruit note. I think the raisins are a wee bit more dominant. But the red fruit, maybe some red apple. Maybe a wee bit of red cherry. But a lovely, lovely floral, wow, I think I've got an idea what that is, but 
I'm not going to mention. So, I hate to make myself look silly. Two fantastic drums. Let's uh, move on to the third one. Going blue now. Oh, wow. Here we go, Pete Lovers. We have a PT one. Wow. We have a sweet PT one. So this is wow. I think it's it's Pete. It's on the kind of Boogie Dal. No, it's it's Pete with something. I think it may be some sort of red wine finish or some sort of finish. Madeira or Sherry or there's there's something going on. Red wine maybe. But the smoke is there. This is this is smoky on the nose. It's peaty, smoky. The peat, to be fair, I thought it was going to be much. Initially when I grabbed it, I got the quick whiff of smoke and peat. But it's fruitier. Tropical fruit. Pineapple, banana. But at the same time, this, this is actually quite interesting because it's going a little bit earthy. Earthy, a little bit of minerality going on. It's damp, maybe some damp wood. Wow, wet, wet wood, damp wood. But it's sweet peat, guys. If I know a lot of you peat guys don't like sweet peat, but this is bordering on the kind of sweet peat road. It's definitely got a beautiful coastal influence. There's a little bit of maybe some sea salt. Maybe a little bit of brain. It's got that. Wow, well, that kind of distant bonfire stuff's going on. The, 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 the smoke is now moved into the back. I think it's probably a wee bit more smoky than peaty. I think it's more smoke. Some lovely coffee note there. Wow, this is so interesting. And there's a little bit of fruit. So I've got apricot, but it's more kind of dried apricot. I think it's heading more to dried apricot, maybe a little bit of red apple, some sultana, some raisins. So that's maybe me. Maybe whenever I get sultanas and raisins, I'm thinking maybe there's some sherry in here somewhere. I think it's sherry. I think it's 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 peaty, smoky, finished in some sort of sherry casks. But there's a wee bit of vanilla in there, so I'm thinking it could be both. It could be vanilla, it could be sherry and bourbon cask. But wow, what a real, real nice nose. So, moving on to the last one. Yes, <laughs> beauty again. Wow, that's poof, I got a dip there. I think we're back on the high ABV. I think this could be some sort of cast strength peated whiskey. But this is this is a big, big, peaty, smoky, sooty. This is definitely bonfire on a beach, distant bonfire. Some lovely sea breeze. Got a real again the coastal's massive sea breeze, sea salt. But this is a little bit more. I know we've had some sweet peat guys. This is a bit more kind of savoury peat. So this is more kind of meat pie, steak bait, thick butter on, well done toast, toasty, the, the toast is overcooked toast, slashings of butter on it, and maybe some honey on top. Wow. This is, if, if. Like, everyone knows I'm not a Pete fan, guys, but this th these things excite me when it's like this. It's dusty. It's dry. It's There's old leather kicking around. It's... If you imagine you walk into a really, really old room that's not been open for years, it's got dusty, dusty bookshelves. That's going on with this. And as you can probably tell, there's not a lot of fruit going on. Maybe a little bit of... Caramel, a little bit of toffee in there somewhere. It's brainy, it's salty, but it's dry and 
dusty and meaty and buttered toast with a big dash of honey on the top. Wow. Nice. Well, four fantastic whiskies, guys. Four fantastic noses. As we know, we have to go through them now and wow, well, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to taste them. So thank you very much for the honour and give me the honour to taste these four whiskies. I'm dreading having to pick a winner because the four, the four of them smell so different and they smell fantastic. Marie's done it again. She's you think she's a whiskey expert, wouldn't you, with the way she's picked these whiskies, but let's find out what it tastes like. First one, we're going up green. Cheers, folks. Do the hatch. Responsibly, of course. Okay, that is, that is nice. Elegant, luxurious, subtle, big raisin, boozy raisin, spicy hit there, chocolate, wow, so much going on, but it's raising the up, raising forward at the minute. Chocolate. It's begun as it goes into the development, it's become peachy and some apricots, but I think the peach is if you think there may be some tinned peaches, syrupy peach. Got that going on. The apple is a wee bit more kind of stewed apple, cooked apple. It's syrupy, it's stewed, it's wonderful. As it goes through, heading towards the finish, becomes the, the fruits become a wee bit more candied. Maybe some sort of candy apple, stewed apple, candy apple. There's a little bit of confectionery coming through now. So I'm thinking maybe some sort of boiled sweet, maybe a, some sort of pear drop. Definitely got a confectionery, you know, but it's, it's elegant, it's velvety, it's luxurious. A little bit of spice through there. Wonderfully balanced. Nothing is dominating. Beautifully put together. Whoever's put this together, this is nice. Not sure on age, but it seems well balanced and nothing's nothing's taken over, nothing's really taken charge. It's just a real nice whiskey from from start to finish. Finish is quite long now, raisiny raisiny sultana, dark fruit, dried fruit. A little bit of candy ginger in there as well. But, wow. Super. Let's try the second one. Let's go red. Wow. Cheers, folks. Okay. That's more intense, higher ABV, maybe a cash strength one there. Spirit driven, punchy, powerful, spicy, nice mouthfeel, thick, velvety, spicy, lovely orange note coming through there, lovely nice orange, tangy, tangy orange, spicy orange. A little bit of ginger, a little bit of black pepper. Wow, so nice. Hint of coffee there. Espresso maybe. Some dark chocolate. Wow. Real, real nice. As it goes through now, it's becoming much more sticky. There's a lovely, lovely honey note coming through. Some sticky honey. Even maybe some sticky treacle. Dark toffee. With that orange and the honey, it's nice, lovely, lovely marmalade note going on. Heading into the finish, there's some nice dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee and espresso. And a little bit of licorice. Wow. I think I know what that one is, but I'm not getting involved in the... You'll probably know because I'll, I'll pop a link above. But I think I know what that is. I've, I've spent a lot of time with these whiskies over the years, so... Let's do the third one. Let's go blue. Okay. 
And that's nice as well. It's lovely arrival. A little bit dry. A little bit sooty. The smoke is much more prominent on the palate than it is on the nose. Coastal. Salty. Earthy. Mineral. Real nice texture on arrival that. But here comes a little bit of fruit. There's lots of berry fruit. Raspberry. Strawberry. Some tropical. Maybe some melon. Yeah, definitely some melon. Maybe a little bit of pineapple. The peat. I think it's, the, it's more smoky than peaty. I think the smoke is taking a bit of a back seat. It's kind of put a wrapped a blanket all around it. You know it's smoky. There's a lovely, lovely balance between the fruit, the smoke and the spice. Wow. Real, real nice. Nice whiskey. Let's do the last one, guys. Oh, this is, this is one. Cheers. Wow, that's back up to the big ABV. Possibly cast strength. Definitely 50 plus. Spicy. Thick, oily, buttery. Spicy, peppery, real nice texture again on this one. Wow, but it's it's dry, it's smoky, spicy, it's earthy, it's mineral. I'm thinking salty, wet stones maybe come to mind. But again, it's not all about that earthiness. There's a real nice. When I said it's not sweet, there's it's not sweet, but it's there's some honey there, there's some toffee. And some caramel, but they're not, not sweet honeys and caramels. They're just real nice, thick honey, spicy honey, peppery honey, salty honey. It's salty, it's peaty. It's a real coastal dram. So I'm thinking this could be maybe something from Isla, something from Campbelltown maybe. A little bit of fruit coming through now. Heading to the finish. Some tropical, a little bit of tropical fruit, pineapple, maybe banana, apples, pears, lots of stuff coming through. Wow. Fantastic. Four wonderful, wonderful whiskies. Big thanks again to Marie for help choosing these four. I've got to eliminate a couple. If I thought life was going to get tough, this is, I have a real easy life, guys, but this is a tough, tough choice. I knew when I started this season it was going to get tough, but I didn't think it'd be half as tough as this. I've got a couple of sherried whiskies, I've got a couple of peated whiskies, I've got something with a wee bit, I think is I think there's sherry in that one as well. I think there's maybe sherry and bourbon in that one. So I need to eliminate something. So what am I going to eliminate? Um, I think I know that one. I've got an idea what I think that is, but on to these performance guys, I think I think I'm going to eliminate the red one. So the red one's gone. So we're now down to the green, blue and gold. Wow. That's so elegant, so luxurious. I think that's that's wonderful, wonderful. That's a real, real, real nice whiskey. That. That's a real luxurious, elegant whiskey. The others, I think this one's a big pack of power on there. It's punching power. I think this one's in between the things. This is a bit of both. So, I think I'm going to... This is really... The blue one's really interesting. This one's powerful, packs a punch. It's peaty, it's smoky. It's it's not up my street, but I'm thoroughly enjoying that nice steak, steak bake note. Uh, I'm going to put the green one through, guys. So, the green is into the next round. Between these two, between the two, smoky, peaty, sherry, whatever you want to call them, bourbon cask, high ABV, decent ABV, I think they're both nice quality, both interesting. I'm going to send the gold one through, guys, so I'm going to eliminate the blue. 
I may love to regret this one, but these are the two that are going through, right? The green and the gold. If you know me as a Rangers fan, these are not the colours that I like to put through. I'd like to put the red and the blue through. But I'm going to send the green and the gold through. So, let me have a quick sip of water and we'll find out where they are. So, the first one eliminated was... I've got an idea what it is as well, guys, and it's going to, it's going to haunt me, I think. Yeah, yeah. Guys, it's the Glen Allocky 10 cast strength. That's batch 8, that one. Wow, so the Glen Allocky's gone. So we've got another whiskey friend big hitter gone. The first one through, which was the green one. I've got a... I've, wow. It's the... RN18. So Aaron's went through, uh, my first love in whiskey was Aaron, so I'm very, very thankful that the Aaron's went through. Second one going out was, wow, Isla Whiskey, Kill Homan, Sanag, the Sanag is gone, what a shame. Which only leaves, I don't even know what it, when I'm saying it only leaves, I don't know why I'm only saying what it only leaves, I don't know what it is, but. Mamma mia. Well, this is the Kill Karen. Heavily peated. This is the Bat 6, heavily peated. So we've got a couple going through. We've got the RN18. Kill Homan is going out. Glen Allocky 10 is going out. We're marching through with the Kill Karen. Heavily peated Bat 6. So, guys, that's Heat 2 completed. Love to know your thoughts, love to know if you're enjoying it, are you enjoying the content, are you enjoying the, the battles, are you enjoying the Sweet 16 stage, dive into the comments, let us know, if you've liked it, give me the thumbs up, if you've not subscribed, what you're waiting for, hit that button down below, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend, until the next one, don't forget you send some good whiskey down the hatch, and always remember, the pleasure is in the sharing, and I'll see you in Heat 3, cheers folks.